Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Very special episode for us today with Fonica Pro 10.3 being released just days ago. And uh, we're gonna just jump right in and talk about this really outstanding new release. Yeah, there's just so much in this release, uh, so much to, to plumb in terms of uh, professional workflows and uh, feature enhancements. I just thought I'd pick one area to focus on. Right, because we, we have a bunch of videos out there that go over the big new features. So we're right. gonna go into more some very specific things that you can do, because the list is very, very long, right? That's right. Big new features, a lot of little things, a lot of improvements. So we've got lots to talk about. Yeah, and I want to talk about the ones I really like. Okay. Okay, so um, <laughs> this episode is called Selecting Above and Below. Selecting yeah, Above and so Below. Yeah, let's so just, uh, let's just show. Okay. So here I am in a new Timeline 2 in 10.3, and what I want you to understand here is that wherever the playhead is parked, if I hold the Command key down and tap the down arrow, it will select what's immediately below the playhead. So what's really nice, I can put it over any clip and then Press the down arrow key and it selects so that item. So command up and down Cl arrows will will select anything under the playhead. Right, hence the terms. Select below, yeah. select <laughs> <Okay>. above. <laughs> well named. <laughs> well named, right. But well you're going, okay, that's great, but how how can how can that help me? Well let's, let's say you're playing along and let's say the music is a little soft. So I'm gonna just go and you can do this in real time, which is fantastic. Cinema lens. It's so I'm going to go down to the music, and I'm going to use now Control Plus to go bring up the volume of the, of the music. Look, do you have any idea how hard it is to focus with a photography lens? Can you hear the music? Nice. Oh yeah, I hear it get louder. Absolutely. Right, and I can even disable it because it's selected, and re-enable, and I hit Command Up. Go to the next one. I'm going to bring up the effects. So I'm going to bring up the volume of the effects a little bit. And by the way, you tapped the V as in victory key to disable that clip. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I can I can even add fades. All the, you know, remember you did that really cool um, tutorial on like adding shortcuts. I can do all of that okay. while it's playing back. And nudge the clip left to right. Right, nudge the clip yeah. while it's playing back. And this is why it's so fantastic to be able to select up and down or above and below. With Very quick and easy. And a lot of these changes just make you edit even faster. Way faster. In fact, I have some other great examples. Do you want to okay. take a look? Yeah, okay. please. All right, so uh, I have this really great little piece I did with my friend Abba. He's talking about uh, how we how he photographs his models and the process he uses. And do you see that little ball in the center? It's called the little... The active clip <laughs> the indicator? The active clip indicator, yes. AKA the little gray ball. And it used to be white. It used to be white. <laughs> but what's, re what's really nice about it is when the little gray ball is over a clip, like right now it's over the connected clip, I can do things like press V key, I can disable the clip, I can press control, control V and I can expand the animation editor yes. and I can animate. I can do things like do a replace edit. It's, it's great. Um, but the problem is not, yeah, I guess it's a problem. I, I've always wanted a little ball to go down a clip. To, yeah, yeah, exactly, to the primary storyline. Right, mm -hmm. so I wanna, I wanna be able to, I wanna color grade this clip here and the one underneath it, but I don't wanna have to move my playhead over here. Yeah. So I'm just gonna park the playhead over there and I'm going to press the V key to disable it and then command down arrow to select the clip. Then has press command six to open the, the uh, color board. Color board go into the exposure pane. I'm just gonna do a little bit of color grading. Just, just gonna go ahead and kind of maybe just bring the gamma down just a little bit. Maybe just boost the saturation just a little bit. For, okay, just, just a little tweak, right? Okay. Now, all I have to do to get back to the top clip is command up arrow, press V, tap the V. Key, tap right? the v. I'm just, because it's selected, the color board is still it's active. Already there. It's already yeah. there. So now I can go into the exposure pane for this clip and I can adjust whatever I need for this clip. Pretty neat, huh? So you can really stay focused on the inspector and easily toggle back and That's forth right. between the different this clips. Is, this is a huge keyboard shortcut. Yeah. Yeah. And I, did I mention it's huge? <laughs> okay. um, and I have Do you one. like it? I love it. Okay, so there's uh, one more example in here. Let's see here. Uh, just using my timeline history to go back. Actually, I thought maybe, there it is, okay. So here is a graphic, you know, we got a stack of gra a stack of graphics here. I got the title, and I've got the little ribbon that animates in. This is our for our intro. We've got the background. Uh, what's fantastic? So a bunch of connected bunch, clips. Yeah. What's great is I can adjust these things while it's playing back using the command down arrow. So I'm going to um, go ahead and hit play, and hit command down arrow. I want to start with that's uh, actually I want to change the color of the ribbon. So command down arrow, go back to the inspector. And I'm just gonna change. I'm changing the color of the ribbon as while, it's coming while in. It's playing while back. it's coming in, command down arrow. I'm gonna go down to the background, 
loads it up in the inspector. I'm gonna go ahead and change the background of the um, of the little whatever, whatever they're called, like the little spiky thing. The yeah, little, yeah. The rays, the rays, the rays. Yeah. The rays. That's pretty darn ugly. Uh, but the point <laughs> is, what I'm doing here is I'm able to select the layer I want, like, and then just without do, clicking without on without anything. having to click on anything. Yeah, and without, you're point. not taking your key, your hands off the keyboard. You're focused on the inspector and the viewer. You don't even really need to look at the timeline barely. Now that's pretty hideous. I think I should be fired as the graphics person. <laughs> but, but you can is, say, hey, I did it in real time while it was playing back. That's right. So <laughs> I just gave you three really good examples of how to use yeah. the above and below. It's, it's phenomenal. It's a great feature, a great yeah. feature. And when you add all of these little enhancements together, they just do the same thing of moving you away from the interface into editing. So you're focused right. on the editing. You're not worried about how to find things and change things. And right. most of your time is spent making creative decisions mm -hmm. instead of trying to figure out how to select something or go somewhere. Exactly. Great. Uh, we have a complete training on our website, uh, the 10.3 In-Depth. It's two yes. hours. We, we create a lot more context and go into a lot more depth. Uh, you want to check that out. Links below. Yep, links below, what have you. But uh, thanks for watching our free stuff and thanks for the, the awesome feedback you've been giving us about our tutorials. Yeah, so stay tuned because we're going to be going deep in 10.3 uh, over the coming weeks here. Thanks for watching Mac Break Studio.